Hey everyone, it's Heidi and welcome to today's episode of Baby Name Sunday, the very first names list of 2021. Now I hope you had a fabulous New Year. So today's list is all about you guys and your guys' family trees. I pulled together and asked you guys to send in some of your favorite vintage classics from your family trees. And I thought this would be such a special way to start off the year. Now today I will do the boys list and then next Sunday I will do the girls list. But before I get on with the list, if you guys haven't already subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button down below. Also hit that bell notification so you guys are notified every single time I upload a list here on YouTube. If you guys want to support me, support my channel, support Baby Name Sunday as a whole, maybe I've inspired you in some way, shape, or form with my names or my names list, there is a link in the description where you can directly support me. And honestly, anything is greatly appreciated. Now, without further talking, let's get into this amazing list of stunning vintage boys name options inspired by you guys. Okay, so to start off on the list, again, I am going to be showing some appreciation with your guys' names in the top corner. I'm gonna say who it's submitted by, and then I will also rank it where it is today in 2020 or 2021, and then also maybe where it peaked in the past to see kind of where it's at now. So first name on this list is the name Alver, spelled A-L-V-E-R. Now this one's a Latin originated name meaning white. I love this as that nickname, Al, which is definitely a vintage classic. Then we have the name Wellington, spelled W-E-L-L-I-N-G-T-O-N. I love this, how you can incorporate that nickname Wells if you want it a little bit more modernized. So this one's also English originated and it means people living in the hamlet near a temple. Next one here is a staple virtue name. I'm in love with this one. It's one of my favorites for the boys. It's the name Prosper, spelled P-R-O-S, P-E-R, and this one means favorable or prosperous. Another handsome option that was sent in is the name Armin, spelled A-R-M-I-N. I've actually known a few Armins when I was little and they were obviously adults, so I can totally see this absolutely peaking in the past. And it's a German originated name, meaning whole, universal, or soldier. Next, we have an incredibly handsome Spanish originated name. I have the name Lupe, spelled L-U-P-E. This was sent in from one of my gorgeous girl pals over in Puerto Rico, and it's a Spanish from Latin origin name meaning wolf. I have the name Kellum, spelled K-E-L-L-A-M. This was an incredibly rare choice back in the days, and this one's an old Norman name meaning place at the ridges. Now for one of my favorites, I have the name Waylon, spelled W-A-Y-L-O-N. As you can see, this one has actually made its way into the top 100s in 2020, so we'll definitely have to keep an eye on this vintage comeback in 2021, and it's an English originated name meaning land beside the road. Something a bit more edgy, Brittany sent in the name Slade, spelled S-L-A-D-E. It's English originated, meaning from the valley. Moving on to a surname sounding name, I have the name Lancaster, spelled L-A-N-C-A-S-T-E-R. Now I've actually seen this as a unisex option now, but back in the day, it was definitely more prominently known on the boy side. It's a British place name, and it's extremely rare to come by for a first name. Next I have is the name Ignacy, spelled I-G-N-A-C-Y, super handsome. It's a Polish spelling on the name Ignatius, meaning fiery. Another vintage boys option is the name Camp, spelled K-A-M-P. Now this one's a Dutch and German name, meaning hedged piece of the land. Then we have the name Belford, spelled B-E-L-F-O-R-D. I love this, how you can have that incorporated nickname Ford in it, which is very modern, but Belford, it just gives that more regal kind of sound to it. And it's an old English name, meaning bell-shaped hill on the Ford. Next one on the list here was so fun. It's the name Hopewell, spelled H-O-P-E-W-E-L-L. -L. Again, you can do that nickname Wells for this one, more so modern, and it's Old English, meaning valley by the stream. Now for some Italian inspiration, I have the name Santino, spelled S-A-N-T-I-N-O. I love this name. Italian names have just been kind of capturing my heart recently, and this one directly means little saint. I have the name Royce, spelled R-O-Y-C-E. I can totally see this making a big comeback in the coming years. It's English originated, meaning son of the king. This next option, if you're having a sixth child and it happens to be a boy, this one is really cool. It's the name Sixto, spelled S-I-X-T-O. It's kind of cool and definitely an uncommon number name. You see seven, you see 11. What about six? 
Sixto. It's Latin originated meaning six and this one was sent in by a namer all the way over in the Philippines. Another S name on the list I have is the name Skipper, spelled S-K-I-P-P-E-R. This is one of those fun vintage names that I could totally see being used so frequently in the past. And it's English originated meaning captain. So more so along those nautical lines, a skipper. All right, so to switch it up, this one here is a name combo because I couldn't leave one behind. So this is the name Keanu, spelled K-E-A-N-U, and middle name Ray, R-A-E, Keanu Ray for a little boy. So Keanu is actually a Hawaiian name and this meaning is amazing. It means cool breeze over the mountain and Ray means wise protector. So really, if you put this name together, it's like wise protector over on top of the mountain. I have the name Asa, spelled A-S-A. -A. This is a great biblical name option, definitely more modern sounding. It's both Hebrew and Japanese rooted. So Hebrew, it means healer, and Japanese, it means born in the morning. Next is the name Truce, spelled T-R-U-C-E. This is a really cool word name, Truce, for a boy. And this one means an agreement between opponents, which I can totally see this peaking around the World War times. And then I have the name Clifford, spelled C-L-I-F-F-O-R-D. This one, Clifford, I find it's just so sweet. That nickname, again, Ford or Cliff, I think you can really modernize this. And it's actually rising quite a bit currently right now. It's one of those definite vintage comebacks. And it's English originated, meaning lives by the cliff near the Ford. Next is the name Fulton, spelled F-U-L-T-O-N. And it's English originated, meaning fields of the village. So very nature inspired with the meaning. Now onto a very rare vintage option. I have the name Mayben, spelled M-A-I-B-E-N. There's a few different ways you can pronounce it and it was incredibly hard to find any information on. So it's possibly a Scottish or Old Welsh name, meaning great sun. Onto a boy's pet name here, I have the name Chip, spelled C-H-I-P, yes. This is one of my vintage fun names, like Coco. Chip and Coco, like how fun do those sound? And this one's the pet form of Charles, meaning free man. Another rare option that was sent in is the name Winship, spelled W-I-N-S-H-I-P. Now she was telling me how this name went from a surname and transitioned into a first name in her family. And I thought that was just super cool, a nickname Ship or Win for a boy, super trendy. And it's an old German medieval name meaning little friend. Next on the list, another surname inspired name is the name Charleston, spelled C-H-A-R-L-E-S-T-O-N. I've seen this now made its way over both on the girl side and the boy side. So great unisex option. It was actually her great uncle's name and it's actually a place name meaning settlement of the free man. Next one here, Latin originated is the name Arville, spelled A-R-V-I-L. And this one means fertile. Then onto Davian's favorite on the list that was sent in is the name Arcadio, spelled A-R-C-A-D-I-O. It's actually a Spanish from Greek originated name, probably why we love it so much, meaning from Arcadia, which was a very ancient city back in ancient Greece. I have the name Link, spelled L-I-N-K, and it's a word name, but it's also a diminutive of the name Lincoln, meaning town by the pool. Another name combo on the list here is the name Willie, W-I-L-L-I-E, and then Chesley, spelled C-H-E-S-L-E-E, -E. Willie Chesley for a boy. I love the kind of pep to it, Willie Chesley. Now, Willie is a diminutive of William, meaning resolute protection, and Chesley is both a London and New York place name. Another favorite on the list is the name Jeremiah, spelled J-E-R-E-M-I-A-H. It's a Hebrew name meaning appointed by God. Then we have the name Elton, spelled E-L-T-O-N, and this one's an English originated name meaning from the old town. I can also see this one really rising with rock and roll style names, Elton John. I can really see Elton making its way up again, making that comeback. Then for a perfect handsome name for the month of January is the name Garnet, spelled G-A-R-N-E-T. Now this is January's birthstone, so it makes it a perfect ideal choice for any boys or even girls born in this month. And this particular gemstone garnet actually means pomegranate. So it has this fruitiness behind it in the meaning, but really perfect for a January baby. Next is an animal inspired name. I have the name Corbett, spelled C-O-R-B-E-T-T, -T, and it's English originated meaning raven. Now to switch it up a bit, this one here I've totally seen peaking here in 
and there on Instagram, on YouTube, and I've seen it so much being used as a middle name, but definitely for a first name, I think it's so sweet, and that's the name Woodrow, spelled W-O-O-D-R-O-W. Yes, have you seen that name anywhere? Comment down below if you guys have, because I have been seeing it quite a bit recently, and it's English originated, meaning a row of houses. Now this one here is the name Colville, spelled C-O-L-V-I-L-L-E. It's an old Norman originated name, meaning Cole Village. Now this one was unranked in the past, it's unranked now. Very rare and it was really hard to find any information on, but any name with Cole is it kind of normally means Cole Town. And then Ville or Ville is French, meaning a village or a town, so Cole Town. All right, so for this next one, I actually added it from my own personal family tree. So this one comes from my dad's side. They have very European roots. So this is the name Emil, spelled E-M-I-E-L. And it's a Dutch originated name, meaning rival. Very kind of peaked and popular back in 1921. And now it's actually still on the charts at around the 13,000s here, which is really cool to see that coming about. But with E names and those I-E-L endings for boys, I can definitely see this one making its way up the charts. Then we have the sweet name Hewson, spelled H-E-W-S-O-N. This one was so sweet, especially with those nicknames like Hugh or Huey, kind of making its vintage comeback on its own. But Hewson with that O-N ending, very handsome choice. It's Scottish originated, meaning Hughes Town. Next on the list is the name Otto, spelled O-T-T-O. -T -T -O. It's German originated, meaning wealthy. Then we have a color name. It's the name Rustin, spelled R-U-S-T-O-N. And it's French originated, meaning redhead or fox colored. Next one here was actually so surprising. It was sent in by two people, which I feel like they'll also be surprised that it was submitted. So it's the name Aloysius, spelled A-L-O-Y-S-I-U-S. What a cool, bold name. It has such power behind the meaning. It's also German originated, meaning famous warrior. I have this sweet name, Leroy, spelled L-E capital R-O-Y, or sometimes it's L-E-R-O-Y. I am, this is one of those vintage names that make me just be like, <laughs> This is so cute. And it's French originated, meaning the king. So very royal, very regal for a little boy. Then another one of my favorite sweet names is the name Wilmer, spelled W-I-L-M-E-R. These ones are killing me, Leroy and Wilmer. Like, oh, it's German originated, meaning determined fame. I have another animal inspired name here. It's the name Wolfgang, spelled W-O-L-F-G-A-N-G. -G. So it's also German originated, meaning traveling wolf. Another name that was sent in on the list is the name Duval, spelled D-U-V-A-L. And this one's English from French, meaning of the valley, Duval. Like, ooh, that one has a handsome flow, very romantic sound to it. Makes sense with those French roots. Then we have the name Erlen, spelled E-R-L-A-N-D, another one of my favorites. It's Old English and Old Norse, meaning noble's land or foreigner. Now for this next one here, I sent it in from my own family tree, except on my mom's side. Now she's French Canadian, but way back it's France French. And she gave me the name Onésime, spelled O-N-E with the accent, Z-I-M-E, Onésime. So it's French originated, meaning beneficial. Very rare name from the past. It's actually moved on over more so to the girl side, so it really could be unisex now. Moving on to the next name here that could totally work as a unisex nowadays. It's the name Emerson, spelled E-M-E-R-S-O-N, and this one means son of Emery. On to another fun one that was submitted here is the name Sheriff, spelled S-H-E-R-I-F-F. This is totally fun. It's Arabic originated, meaning the honorable one, but I can totally see this making its vintage comeback, holy moly, with like Ranger, Ford, these kind of cool like Parker kind of names. You have Sheriff to add to the mix. Sheriff and Ranger for your little boys. How cool. Next one here is the name Higby, spelled H-I-G-B-Y. This one was also extremely hard to find any information on. It's quite rare from the past, really rare now, but Possibly it's Old Anglo-Saxon, meaning humbled beginnings. So sweet for a meaning. Another rare idea here is the name Holcomb, spelled H-O-L-C-O-M-B-E. It's also an Anglo-Saxon name, meaning a hollow valley. So these two here, Holcomb and Higby, were extremely rare, almost ancient Old Saxon names. Next on the list is the name Stanley, spelled S-T-A-N-L-E-Y. It's English originated, meaning near the stony clearing. Then we have another name combo here. It's the name Felix Frank, spelled F-E-L-I-X. 
X and then Frank, F-R-A-N-K. Both of them are Latin originated and together they mean happy and fortunate free man. Next is the beachy boy's name Byron, so B-Y-R-O-N. It's actually English rooted meaning barn of cows, but it's also a really beautiful bay, Byron Bay in Australia. Then I have the name Harlan, spelled H-A-R-L-A-N. Again, this is another really great unisex option now. It's moved over from the boy side and makes its way over to the both boys and girls side. And it's German from English originated, meaning rocky land or hair land. For everyone who loves the name Arlo, this one's a great vintage choice. It's the name Darlo, spelled D-A-R-L-O-W. Now, a few different ways you could probably spell it, and this could totally work as a unisex option, but it's English originated, meaning deer hill. So it has some nature and some animal ties behind it. I have the name Walter, spelled W-A-L-T-E-R, nickname Walt. And this one's actually made its way into the top 500s at 420 in 2020. So this is a name to keep your eye on. It's German originated, meaning army ruler. We have the name Roland, spelled R-O-L-A-N-D. This one's also German originated, except meaning famous throughout the land. Then next is the name Willem, spelled W-I-L-H-E-L-M. So this one's also a German name, but it's the German form of William, meaning resolute protection. All right, so to switch things up a bit, more of a shorter vintage name here. I know this is pronounced a certain way. It's either Ira or Ira, so I-R-A. I always forget how this is properly pronounced, but it's a Hebrew name meaning watchful one. Next, we have the name Omer, spelled O-M-E-R. This one was one of my personal favorites on the list, and it's also a Hebrew originated name meaning sheaf of corn. Another great boys option here is the name Alonzo, spelled A-L-O-N-Z-O. It's Italian originated, meaning noble and ready. Then we have the Scandinavian name Jen, spelled J-E-N-S, and this one means God is gracious. Next is the name Herman, spelled H-E-R-M-A-N. This one is another one that just makes my heart sing. It's German originated, meaning soldier or warrior. I have another Italian name here next. It's the name Orlando, spelled O-R-L-A-N-D-O, Orlando. It just reminds me of Orlando Bloom, which is such a great, what a great actor and a great person to be associated with if it is a celebrity. And this one also means famous throughout the land. So you can have Roland and Orlando. Lando being boy sibling names that have the same meaning. Then moving on to a Z name on the list. Now Z names were super rare in the past to have as a first name. So this one's the name Zubair, spelled Z-U-B-A-I-R, Zubair. So this one's Arabic originated and it has a ton of meaning. So strong, powerful, intelligent, and wise. Great characteristics behind a little man. Then we have the name Emerito, spelled E-M-E-R-I-T-O, Emerito, like so cool. It's also Italian originated, meaning to serve. All right, so we're getting down the list here, last kind of 10 or so names. I have the name Crombie, spelled C-R-O-M-B-I-E. It's a Dalridian, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Dalridian Scottish place name, meaning crooked. Then we have the cool name Thorvald, spelled T-H-O-R-V-A-L-D, Thorvald, nickname Thor, and it's perfect. It's Old Norse originated, meaning thunder. So really cool. This one actually peaked back in 1888. Super, super vintage name, and now it's completely unranked. So it's a great, longer, handsome option to have that bold Thor nickname. Next is the name Clement, spelled C-L-E-M-E-N-T. This one's Latin originated, meaning mild and merciful. Then we have this sweet name combo here, Price Oliver, P-R-I-C-E, O-L-I-V-E-R. Now they plan, I believe it was, naming their son this name after a grandfather, which was so sentimental. Price is a Welsh originated name, meaning son of enthusiasm or passion. And Oliver is a Latin originated name, meaning olive tree. And olive trees represent friendship and peace. So this is really great as like a very friendly and peaceful name for a little boy. Next, I have the name Dawson, so D-A-W-S-O-N. This one also has been making its way over to the girl's side, so it's definitely a unisex name right now, and it's Welsh originated, meaning son of the beloved one. I have the name Wenzel, spelled W-E-N-Z-E-L, Wenzel, super fun. It's actually a great grandfather's name, and it's both Old German and Old English, meaning praised with glory. These next two actually are very similar, 
so I'm putting them back to back. So I have the name Alri, spelled A-L-R-I-E, and it's derived from the Germanic elements, meaning all power. It's completely unranked in the past and unranked now. Then we have the name Arli, spelled A-R-L-I-E. So we have Alri and Arli. <laughs> so confusing to say after another. And it's English originated, meaning from the rabbit's meadow. So this is really cool. You have Alri or Arli as options. Last few names here and quite a few Z names actually. So this one's the name Zimri, spelled Z-I-M-R-I. Super great Hebrew name, meaning my music and my praise. Then we have the quirky fun name Maxi, spelled M-A-X-I-E. So this one's a diminutive of Maxwell, meaning the greatest. Second to last name on the list here, I have the name Zeal, spelled Z-E-A-L. It's a great grandpa's name as well, which is so sweet. It's English from Greek originated, meaning passion. Again, very unranked name in the past and definitely unranked now. And then that brings me to my very final name on this vintage boys name list submitted by you guys. So this one was really incredibly rare, hard to find any information on, but I had to add it. So it's the name Seabron, spelled S-E-A-B-R-O-N, Seabron. So this name peaked back in 1918. It was on the charts in 1956 and has vanished ever since, which was really fascinating. Very rare option, hard to find any information on, but it's a 13th century English name meaning seaside. So a very beachy name, Seabron, nicknamed Sea or Bron for a nickname as well. Super great, you can get those both nickname elements and combine together Seabron, very, very unique. So that is it with the list, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this amazing vintage boys name list inspired by you guys, inspired by your families, your family tree. I thought it was just so special and a very special list to start off the year and I was really excited to share it with you guys so next week we will have the girls names but if I didn't mention your name or you have some other great vintage classics from your family tree please leave them in the comments below I will be so thrilled and everybody else will be so thrilled to take a look at them everybody was so excited to see this list anyhow so again thank you guys so much for watching take care stay safe and I will see you guys next Sunday with the girls vintage name list bye